at memorial services they often play a video of the person they puff his life um, I don't need that what I probably would want though would be a uh, kind of this this little video where I'm kind of reciting my uh, my favorite ideas first thing it seems odd that I mean I've been a career counselor for a million years that I would say that don't spend too much time trying to figure it out there is usually many careers that would fit just about as well and if you spend too much time after just a bit of exploration more time than that's usually gonna waste a lot of time a lot of money uh, better to get started get great training especially from mentors uh, keep begging for feedback uh, stay, stay the course for a while get to be the go-to guy go-to gal that's the best advice I can give on the career front this is going to seem so pontificating but the pursuit of contribution is much more worthy than the pursuit of happiness I know you're not going to do it but I swear I've done this my whole life and I swear it's worth doing at least every hour or so I'm always asking myself what should I do now that would do the most good college and graduate school just because you're good at college or graduate school doesn't mean you need to be good in life because they give you all that structure well, when you leave college and graduate school the training wheels come off and so with, if you're going to be motivated to, to be productive you've got to realize that the key is I'm not trying to get away with as little as I can it's do as much as I possibly can that being productive and contributory is more important than anything and don't let anything stop you from that and again this is going to sound pontificating but ethics really are key I I really believe this that the life best led is where you're where you're caring about universal and cosmic values trumps everything I believe we're a lot less malleable than the media's led us to believe I think you got to accept your basic self and when you're choosing people to hang around with whether it be a, a mate a friend uh, who you're gonna hire whatever I think you can only assume they're gonna change a bit in choosing who you spend time with like a romantic partner don't let sexual attraction blind you to the ultimately more important factors of kindness intelligence yes and emotional health every medic in war knows that you can ultimately do the most good not by necessarily treating the sickest but by those with the greatest potential to benefit you have limited resources you've got to spend them wisely think with your head not with your heart we have to solve the decline in the number of decent paying jobs that are caused by technology and caused by globalization I've got only an inadequate solution I call it an assistance army we got to encourage people to hire low-level service people to help with their newborn kid to help uh, their kid with homework to be a technology demystifier for their kid or for themselves to uh, help them age in place whatever that's going to create a lot of ethical jobs and I think that's really very important um, okay uh, I also think uh, in, in that regard that more people are going to have to learn to live on less and the good news at least in my judgment is that I swear I believe that me and most people could live quite well in as long as we chose low-cost housing that's the biggest housing the biggest expense and then if we prize not stuff but relationships creative outlets and kindness Barbara's gonna hate me for saying this one the live teacher I really believe is obsolete especially at the college level we could enable all students rich or poor from Alabama to Zululand to get the best possible instruction by creating online individualized courses immersive courses with a lot of simulations but the key is that they're hosted by a dream team of the most transformational instructors in the nation in fact in, in the world I would much rather have that kind of transformational teacher given to all students even if though it's online than the run-of-the-mill the, the full range of teachers in person especially for a field like math where really the most the best communicators tend to not go into math of course you can as needed have a live instructor um, to supplement like uh, either in person or Skype I really believe that men are underrated the media the society's mind molders the schools the colleges and the media have done an absolutely her terrific job of making men appear worse than their merit justifies please if you've got son or daughter or yourself men are not inferior both men and women bring a lot to the table and we need to stop the bashing of either gender more pontificating don't do drugs
for example, pot's far more dangerous than the media tells us. On a more pleasant note, adopt a sweet dog. There's a hassle, absolutely, but it's outweighed by the comfort and joy. And if you get your doggy from a pound or a rescue, you're saving an innocent life. Concentrate your charitable giving. Don't give to a zillion places. Concentrate it on something that's going to have a big ripple effect to society, yet wouldn't be funded if it weren't for your dollars. I have been donating money to research on the biological basis of intelligence and on mentors for intellectually gifted low to moderate income kids. And finally, my dad rarely talked about being in the Holocaust. And he explained it this way. He says, Martin, the Nazis took five years from my life. I won't give them one minute more. Martin, never look back. Always take the next step forward. He's right. I have found with so many of my clients that more than a bit of, quote, processing is more likely to keep you mired in the past and to play victim. Don't look back. Do take the next step forward. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.